this isn't exactly a walkway thing, but um, I just noticed um, people uh, um, blowing up um, on the internet that Glenn Jacob, aka WWE, came, like I said, Glenn Jacobs won the mayorship of Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, wow. This is exciting because um, I may not be for the Freedom Caucus and who he um, gained um, political um, background for, um, Ted Cruz and um, Marco Rubio, not a Freedom Caucus fan, and he did say Rand Paul, um, but I just want to say, right now in America, it's Trump, Trumpican country, even though um, Glenn, Glenn didn't mention Freedom Caucus and alt right um, influence, but he did have some Trump support, and he does support Trump. So I just want to say, only in America, where Trump being our president, and two. For my WWE wrestlers, just even to a former Minnesota governor, now conspiracy asshole, <laughs> and Kane, aka Glenn Jacobs, mayor of Knoxville. Very amazing to see out of nowhere and surprising people becoming in politics. So, my walk away from this is you never know who could be a politician, you never know who can be winning these things. However, one side note, we do need some good, 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 good career politicians who will listen to us. The reason why from a video where I said I'm going to vote for Joe Morali. Trump Morali is now a resistor, not a little liberal democrat. I wish he ran an independent conservative ticket for the Louisiana seat, even though he is more likely going to win the seat. Um, but still, he's a good politician. He deserves to be proven that he is a good queer politician. Most aren't in the Liberal Party, some in the Republican Party, but we do have politicians who will listen to us. Sadly, we don't have a queer politician um, when who ran from Monroe County Legislator Station and a mayor, and not just a mayor, um, he was a former police chief. And my city is pretty much a liberal city with a little conservative, you know, I believe the conservatives does still um, vote, the conservative Republicans still vote for the conservative left wing, um, somewhat conservative Democrats. Um, like I said, most Rajasthalians are independent. The flat out conservatives, the not Republican or Democrat. Sally James Shepard was one who just fell through the cracks. And also, he was a former police chief, and not like my friend Bob Duffy, who ran and was very pop popular. Um, the reason behind he was a conservative, and he didn't have any baggage because from our police chief and many 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 people asked him to run for mayor but anyway um going back to my friend James Shepard reason why he lost um Black Lives Matter movement you know we're not Black Lives Matter movement city people who are racist and liber liberals and otherwise just when it's um, Mia campaign against them. And Rachel Bernhardt, who is not a Democrat or liberal, he, she's a 
I shall be with Black Lives Matter and Green Party and progress, way progressive like Anthony Nixon. Um, he was told, wrote from Jane Shepard too. So I ended up having a so-called liberal, um, she's not as liberal as Obama, but she got the Black Lives Matter the Occupy Rochester movement happening and under her watch. Lovely one, you're not making out the city better. James Shepard could have, but people are blind in Rochester, obviously. So anyway, like I said, not all queer politicians are bad. Not, um, People are not that bad, but newcomers, outsiders, awesome. Way to go, Glenn. I'm proud, I'm happy for you, even though I came as I was talking about you were turning to um, WWE with um, Daniel Bryan, Hell No team. But, like, anyway, I am. Um, like Jen Hubbard, aka um, Luke Harper, so I'm glad they retained the title. I don't like the viciousness, but I like Luke Harper. Um, I'm from Rochester, and he's from Rochester, and I love his high school. Team. Um, McQuaid, McQuaid was an awesome school, and still is. But anyway, I just wanted to say, way to go, newcomers, outsiders. I hope you guys are Trumpicans and can help this country get back to the Constitution, the Bible, liberties, freedoms, the real American way instead of the anti-American way that the uh, new people coming into this country who are illegal, legal, or any kind of immigrants who are wanting to change our power ways. It's not going to happen. Real Americans are fed up with it. So say goodbye to the uh, new America because the old America is making a comeback. Bye!